folks, today we're going to be talking a little bit about a Daigo moment. So, you know, Daigo, a lot of people's favorite all-time fighting game players, myself included, he's known for some pretty incredible moments. So, of course, Evo Moment 37, you guys all know this one. I already made a video where I recreated this. I saw how hard exactly is it to do what Daigo did in tournament with all that pressure to pull off that parry and get the follow-up combo. But there's another Daigo moment that some of you guys who are newer to fighting games might not know about. So this happened in Stunfest 2015, and it was Daigo versus Momochi, who is another sort of all-time great legendary fighting game player. And I thought we would examine this moment because it is such a classic, and then we would do the same thing. Let's recreate it. Let's see, is it possible for a normal human like myself to pull off what Daigo's about to pull off. And if you guys like this type of video where I'm analyzing sort of older things that happened throughout the past of the competitive fighting game genre, uh, let me know down in the comments and let me know if there are any other moments that you think would be worth examining in a future video. And hit the like button on the video if you like it. It really helps me out and that'll let me know to keep doing this type of thing. But let's take a look at what Daigo actually did here. So it's no parry, no, no parry you have to worry about. It's simply a combo, okay? Okay, so th this is going to be the combo starting here. So he gets a dizzy. That part's not important. The dizzy part's easy. Okay, but here's where it gets hard. So check out this combo that Daigo does in tournament right after getting perfected. Okay, watch this combo that Daigo goes for. Oh, even with the damage, and then he just meaty... Sure, you can all wake up to close it out. So even like with all that damage scaling, that was doing no damage. But he actually went for that in tournament. And in case you guys don't know, there are a lot of tight timing links that he had to pull off to nail this. So let me break it down a little bit more in detail. So he gets the stun and then he does axe kick into crouching medium punch so that's a one frame link so that means you have one sixtieth of a second to press the button if you press it too early the button doesn't come out if you press it too late the opponent can block it so one sixtieth of a second to land that crouching medium punch cancels that into fireball and then again we have crouching medium punch link into close heavy punch that's a one frame link as well one sixtieth of a second right there axe kick into crouching jab that one i believe is a two frame link so that one that's nice and easy two frame link the crouching jab after the axe kick but then he does far standing medium punch that's a one frame link crouch jab the far standing medium punch that's three one frames already axe kick fadc crouch jab close fierce once again i believe that is a one frame link Axe kick, down medium punch, another one frame link, Tatsu, sure you can, sure you can, and then another sure you can. So five one frame links and one two frame link. And Daigo did all that in tournament against one of the greatest players of all time, Momochi. So do you guys think this is going to be possible? <laughs> Let's hop in and find out. All right, so we got the game fired up. We got my timer ready. Let's go ahead and hit start and let's see just how long this is going to take. Of course, I'm going to do a lot of editing to get through the boring parts, but I say let's go for it. So we're just going to take it a bit at a time. So to start out, we do that. No, just kidding. We do that. No, just kidding. We do. <laughs> I'm forgetting my inputs. We do that. Okay. Okay. Half circle forward kick for the axe kick. Okay. All right, I had to go in and update all my notes because when I wrote down the annotation for this combo, I wrote it as half circle back, but it's half circle forward. Okay, so this is the start. And then we got to get... Yo, first try? First try, I got the crouching medium punch. All right, I have to tell you guys about a very special technique that is going to make this combo a little bit easier. Okay, so let's talk about what's called plinking. So plinking is a method for making links a little bit easier. So you can see if I just tap medium punch... You can see the little yellow medium punch thing pops up for, for just one input. But if I do a thing where I press medium punch and then right after I press light punch, so I press it like one right after the other, you can see that I get two medium punch inputs even though I'm only pressing the button once. And I'm actually getting medium punch on two consecutive frames. So I'm getting a medium punch and then the very next frame I'm getting another medium punch because medium punch is going to take priority over light punch. That's why it's called plinking. It stands for priority linking. And so essentially, since we're getting two medium punch inputs, we get two chances 
for the medium punch to come out on the right frame. So essentially every one frame link, we can turn into a two frame link doing this. Okay, does that make sense? So I'm certain that Daigo was doing this in the combo. It wouldn't make sense to not do it this way. It just makes every one frame link twice as easy, but don't get it twisted. It's still really hard because you could accidentally press both buttons on the same frame or press them more than a frame apart and then you won't get the plink. You'll only get one medium punch input or you could just miss the two frame timing. So there's a lot of ways that this can still go wrong even with plinking, but it's gonna make it a little bit easier for us. With that explanation, out of the way guys I've already spent four minutes just explaining plinking so let, let, let's actually work on this combo okay so we do this and then we do crouching medium punch into fireball FADC okay and we miss the link immediately there okay okay fireball FADC we got that and then we're gonna do crouching medium punch close heavy punch so again, this is one where you're gonna wanna plink the heavy punch because this is a one frame link. So you can see it's very easy to miss and just have the opponent block it. So you have to exactly hit that two frame timing with the plink in order to get that close heavy punch to link. And then we're gonna do this again. So let's just work on that part. We're gonna do crouching medium punch fireball and then crouching medium punch close heavy punch. Dude, this, this, this part's actually hard. I thought this FADC wouldn't be so hard, but I'm struggling. There we go. There, okay, so then we do that, and then we do another axe kick. Not that, not that. Oh, okay, we finally got, you guys can see how much time elapsed, just trying to get that one part. That one part in the middle. Okay, so let's see. That's about half the combo, maybe a little less than half the combo. Let's see if we can put the first part together here. So we go like this. Oh, I was so close there. Oh, let's go. Let's go. That was it. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, nine minutes in, we've got like half the combo. Okay, that was pretty hard, though. And it's only going to get more hard because the more of these one frame links that we add, the more opportunities there's going to be to drop. You know, it's like the difference between flipping two coins and getting two heads versus flipping eight coins and getting eight heads, you know. Uh, so after this, then we do this. Like that. Okay. Oh, and then we have to do light. We have to do light axe kick there, I guess. And then we do crouching light punch, close heavy punch. So that's another one frame link there, I believe. Okay, so then after that last, that's the last axe kick of the combo right there. So then after that, we do crouching medium punch, Tatsu. Another one frame link, by the way. And then double Shoryuken, and then that's it. And then right as he gets up, we do another Shoryuken for the chip out. Okay, okay, let's start putting some pieces together here, okay? So I'm gonna see if I can do the full second half of the combo. This is gonna take a bunch of tries, so I'm sure I'll edit most of them out here. Oh my gosh. By the way, guys, I'm, I'm turning off the input display thing here. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. I just figure you guys would rather like actually see the characters without any things ticking across their faces. So I'm gonna turn those off. You guys should know the inputs anyway since I already went through everything manually. So let's see if we can get this second half of the combo here. Starting with this axe kick. Okay, okay, listen, that wasn't exactly right. I did EX Tatsu by accident, but that was essentially the whole combo. The whole second half of the combo, that is. That's only half of it. Yes! Okay, there's the whole second half. Oh my god. Looking at the timer, clearly the second half is harder than the first half, man. The second half is really tough. Because the thing is, a lot of things have, like, different timing. So, like, the timing the timing of, like, axe kick into crouching medium punch, that's, like, different timing than the timing of, like, light axe kick FADC or, like, fireball FADC. Like, the timings are all really different for these links, so... It's pretty crazy, man, but what do you say we try to put the two halves together? This is going to take so long, but let's go for it. Starting at the top. Yep, 
That okay, that's the furthest I've made it <laughs> in 31 minutes. That's the furthest I've made it. Oh my god, this is hard, guys. This is taking me so many tries. Okay, so after that FADC, I do it's just this. Crouching light punch, close heavy punch. That's like that's like pretty much the whole combo. There's just like two more links and then we're done. So I, I'm starting to feel like it's in sight here. We just have to nail everything, you know? It's like it's like when a speedrunner is like trying to pull something off and you just have to find that one run where everything goes right. But of course for Daigo, that one run is like with all the pressure on in the middle of a tournament where like you can't drop it or else you'll probably lose. It's insane, dude. Woo! Ooh, we got it nice and clean. You guys can see that did 460 damage without all the damage scaling from doing the stun. Just the first part of the combo did 460, nearly half of a life bar. Insane how much damage Evil Ryu can do in optimal situations. Oh, that's the furthest I've made it. 12 hits. <laughs> We got one extra jab in. Oh my god. We're gonna hit an hour soon. I, I was hoping I could crank this out in under an hour, guys, but might not be in the cards. Ooh. All right, actually, I just had the bright idea that I can, uh, I can display my buttons on screen using Gamepad Viewer. So I'll go ahead and do that. That should be even better than the in-game input display. Sorry, I haven't been doing that for the whole video. I just uh, forgot that that was an option since I'm playing on PC. Let's get back into it. God, I have gotten to 12 hits so many times, but I've never gotten 13, man. I'm so close. The time is getting so high now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, 14 hits, guys. 14 hits. I was so close. One more one frame link. The only one that we missed there at the end was this. Axe kick, crouching medium punch, Tatsu, and then the two DPs. One more one frame link, and we got it, guys. We're so close. Let's go! And then we just DP him on wake up and boom! <laughs> guys, I actually did it! Hold on, I have to compare the tapes. I have to make sure, like, did I do the exact right combo in the exact way Daigo did? But for now, I'm going to pause the timer. Guys, I rewatched the tape and I actually messed one thing up. At the very end of the combo, I did crouching light punch into Tatsu instead of crouching medium punch. I think I did a plink, like a plink like that, but I mistimed it and I got the light punch instead. So we got to do it one more time. Restart the timer. You know, I'm I'm reinvigorated because now I know for sure that I can get it. So, you know, surely only a few more tries and we'll get it perfect, right guys? Let's go, guys. That time we got it exactly right. Hell yeah. Stop the timer. Stop the timer under 2 hours. Yes, I'm so pumped. <laughs> oh my god, 510 damage, guys. Over 50%. Evil Ryu is no joke in this game. So just like Evo Moment 37, I think this just goes to show, like, it is insane the kind of things that people can do under pressure with it all on the line. In tournament, they can pull off impossible feats. And isn't that just one of the things that's so magical about fighting games and about competition in general? So I love it, guys. So all the other content creators out there, I would like to see you guys attempt this challenge. Can you get this combo in under two hours? <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard of a time to beat. So you guys can feel free to, you know, at your favorite content creator on Twitter or whatever and say, hey, you should try this combo out and uh, let me know down in the comments if there's any other big moments like this that you'd like to see me recreate and see how long it takes for a normal scrubby human like myself. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a ton of fun filming this and I hope you had fun watching it as well. I will see you in the next one, everybody. Bye bye.